Hello there and welcome to my 13th 3D tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how to do this um, it's animations I've got asked this question quite a few times people want to know how to do animations now um, you probably don't see it that well and we might not be able to tell the differences very much except for that um, this guy's arm here his arms aren't moving um, this guy may be a little bit chunkier this guy's more smooth. Um, okay, now I'm gonna tell you. Now these are two different methods of how to do it. Um, one of them takes more space, and the other one's, um, but it's a little easier to do in some ways. And this one takes less space, but it's a little harder to do. And well, yeah, yeah, it also isn't quite as good. It depends on what you're looking for. So I'll show you how to do both of these. Um, I just want to get a little better here. Now you're going to want to see this and you know, figure out how it works for yourself, so you might want to download it. Okay. So now, there we go. So first, of course, I just, um, uh, using my other tutorial, my 12th uh, 3D tutorial, uh, you know, I just used the uh, view here. So just a few. So you're gonna wanna watch that one if you wanna find out how to do this. Alrighty, so here is runner number one. This is um which one is this? This is the first one. This one uh, Right, this is the one that loads a bunch of models. So what it's doing actually is it's bun it's basically loading a bunch of models and then it's going through them really fast. So it keeps switching them. So basically I have to do leg one, leg two, body, arm one, and arm two. Okay, and then I load um and then I load a bunch more of them. So I just have a so basically I load a bunch of models and it takes up a little bit more um, more space not very much since they're very small files now I set a bunch of variables here now this is basically um, all this is is you might want to figure it out um, it's just setting the variables that way um, and all this too it's just a bunch of variables making sure that I will scroll through the uh, models properly so you can either figure that out for yourself or look at this, but I'm not going to try to explain it right now. So yeah, that's basically the technology of how that one works, and then it draws the uh, one. Now that's just a variable, and it switches through models really fast. So yeah, that's how that one works. Now for runner two, this is the one that's a little bit different. So what it does is it just loads on um, one leg, one leg two, body. It only has to load one of each. Okay, but then you get a little bit more complicated. Okay, now I couldn't just use that nice little um, tab I made because I have to add a lot of stuff. Because I need to add rotations here. Now, you may have seen this code in my sim in my uh, previous tutorials, but what I'm doing is um, I'm adding rotations. Now, unfortunately, to make the legs pivot at the right part, part I had to flip it and then zoom it up, raise it. Anyway, kind of complicated. That way, it would um, rotate it the right part. So, I'm just adding rotations here, and you notice that D3D transform add rotation X. It, that's a variable, and then same with this one except for that one's a minus. So basically what that's doing is it's adding a rotation on that variable. So then all you have to do is change that variable and then it'll rotate that way. So, and then the rest of the stuff I'm just, you know, drawing a normal. I could have just done that um, using my tab here, but I didn't want to. So right now in step you just have to change it the way you want it to. Now, once again, just some meanless code, meaning so that it'll rotate the way I want it to and yeah so that's about it those are the two main ways now I couldn't do the arms because the access point is really weird and so it just it looks like his arms are really waving weird so yeah I wasn't able to add the arms so in this one you don't have quite as much freedom it's a little bit smoother though and 
uh, yeah. And it's a little bit easier to do in some ways. Alrighty, so now I will show you once again the product of the two ones. And then you can define for yourself. Now, the whole file of this one, of this tutorial, is 4 megabytes big. That's okay, unless you're wanting to add a lot of animations and you're going to want to use the um, first one, which takes a lot of a lot of space. And the uh, second one, of course, isn't quite as good. It's a little bit more smooth. Though. Okay. So, once again, we're saying this is the first one here. This is the one that's a little bit more chunky, but more space. So, what you're going to want to do then is bring it into true space and just save a bunch of models. So, you save it, move it a little bit, save it again. So, yeah. And then this guy here, um, not quite as much um, freedom, but a little bit more smoother and easier and less space. So yeah, you make the choice on which one you want to do, and yep. So that's all I have for this 13th 3D tutorial. Goodbye.